Uh, item one, meeting minutes. Any questions, comments? No questions. Move to approve the minutes. Second. Oh, we need a roll call since we're not all yeah, here. Yeah. Julie. Yes. Fred, yes. Joyce, not voting. <laughs> Vendor and payroll warrants, any comments? No comments, no questions. No comments, no questions. Joyce, anything? No. No. Public Move comment. To approve. No, don't need no, we to. We don't have to approve those. You have to approve that. It's done. Oh. Uh, do we have anyone online with a comment? Keith, you're here for something else? Yes. Okay, no public comment, no scheduled appointments. COVID rapid test available at town offices. Hold business. Uh, we have a request from the treasurer collector to use CLFRF money for the purchase of cash management software. Amy Schrader is here. Can you present? Yep. Um, so in your meeting material, you should have my um, Zobrio cash management software funding proposal. Uh, the total expense of the software system is $9,000. Um, I'm requesting that $6,000 be paid out of ARPA funds. And I have, a, I have about $3,000 left over in my FY23 budget um, to be able to make up the $9,000. And then the annual subscription fee of $3,000 um, will be factored into my FY25 budget I'm going forward. Um, I also did get some more information. Julie, I think you asked me at the last meeting about what the implementation costs um, entailed, and they did explain that they will be um, setting up all of our bank accounts and doing the majority of the data entry to start up the software system. And also yep. include 16 hours of training. Okay, thank you. Okay, any, I've got no questions or comments. Any questions, comments? None from no. me. Okay, yep. do I have a motion to approve? I'll move to approve that. I will second. All in favor, Julie. Aye. Me, aye. So that's 6,000 right, from yeah, that is 6,000 from our performance. Gotcha. Uh, next, discuss and vote on select board appointments for fiscal year 2024. We have a listing. Brian, why don't you prepare the list when you go through what, what we've got and what you need to make. Yeah, why don't you just share it here. So each fiscal year, the select board makes a couple page when you spend that um page fulls of appointments um on the sheet that was uh, sent to the board um do you want me to read these all or is it good to just, um, just talk about the where the vacancies are the vacancies or changes that might be needed um, and actually, we're kind of, I guess I'm kind of doing this a little bit backwards, but um, the ones in the green, I'm assuming that you will, uh, the board will consider appointing those, those two new individuals tonight to those positions. Um, that being Sylvie Jensen to the position of Community Development Administrator, Assistant Town Administrator, and then Jessica Murphy as Administrative Assistant, those are highlighted in green. Um, the yellow, there's, there's a vacancy in the assistant town clerk position. Um, this is an updated list um, of our part-time police officers. Um, and at the, I believe it was the last meeting or the meeting before that last meeting, you appointed the two full-time police officers already, uh, uh, Christian Vijay and uh, Zachary Liebenau. Um, there was discussions about in previous meetings by the select board about appointments to South County EMS and the Board of Oversight. Right. I don't know if you want to talk about that now, or I could keep just running through and then if talk well, about it. Well, run, run through and then we'll discuss any that need discussion at the end. Okay. Uh, Franklin County Community Cooperative Inspection Program representative 
Um, that's currently, or, or this past year, it was Jim Ross. Um, J.D. Ross has volunteered um, to take that position um, if the board is so inclined to appoint him. Two vacancies for fence viewers and field drivers. If anybody's interested, you know, we could always use more uh, fence viewers and field drivers. Well, we only need two. Uh, we, that's right. <laughs> we want to with two, right? We need two more. Um, there's one vacancy on the Council of Aging, one vacancy on the Energy Committee, um, one vacancy on the Open Space Committee, which isn't uh, meeting that really, it's not meeting very frequently. Um, according to our records, there's three vacancies on the Aging Commission. Um, there are two vacancies in Tri Town Beach. Ryan? Yeah. Mark is Tritown, is on Tritown Beach. Yeah, right. He's not up for uh, reappointment though. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It actually says, uh, the, I think the term is wrong here. I think it's supposed to be three year terms according to the bylaw. Okay. Um, but he was appointed last time. So, yes, Mark is, my understanding is that Mark is still on there. Is there anybody else on there? I mean, when I saw the two vacancies, I thought, oh no. We don't have anybody from Waitley on it, but it sounds like there's at least one. Is there another, perhaps? No, it's only it, there's three there's three commissioners from each okay. town. Yeah. Jonathan Edwards was there and he resigned recently. Yeah. Right. And, uh, okay. Andy, Andy Mahalik, um, I believe, was also on there at one time, but I don't believe he's. Yeah, who does anybody remember who it was who spoke up at town meeting about Tri Town Beach? I don't remember who it was. I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't do. Okay. I should have written down that name. And then um, I, I'm recommending that, um, that assuming Sylvie Jensen is appointed to the community development position, she would be the Burkhock alternate. Um, that didn't come out very well. Mm -hmm. And also the, the regional planning board representative. Um, to my knowledge, uh, in conversations with Lynn, she's willing to stay on as the emer uh, emergency management director. That's good to know. There was, there, there is somebody interested. Um, there is some interest in that position when, whenever Lynn feels like. Uh, oh. So no, there's a succession that. plan, perhaps, even. It, I, yeah, we received emails about someone who's interested in it. I don't know. So can we designate an alternate or deputy to work with Lynn? And there is an assistant that's, oh. that's uh, Alan Sanderson, uh, Alan Sanderson Jr. has found the okay. assistant or um, whatever. Yeah, yeah. alternate. Yep. Okay, uh, so it looks like the only issues in question are to, aside, aside from people who are continuing, uh, J.D. Ross to replace Jim Ross as the inspection program representative and the EMS, that kind of EMS representatives. Yeah, the board yeah. talked about one of the half. Uh, maybe closer representation to the select board. Right. Any issues with J.D. Ross replacing Jim Ross in that position? No. Okay. EMS. Uh, so right now you have a, well, what, how it was originally set up, there was one select board member who was on it, and then there was one fire department representative on it. Well, the fire department was left over from the ambulance. Okay. Service, so okay. that's how it was set up originally. Uh, is Gary Stone, does Gary Stone intend to continue or? I believe so. Okay. So I'm not sure entirely for how much longer, but. Okay. Um, so I think that would just be. Okay. So we're talking about the select board or John Ben Edwards in this case position. Um, if it's okay with everyone, I would like to volunteer to take that position myself. Go for it. 
Okay. I think that's that's a good idea. I'm glad that we can have a select board member there. I think that was um, important in the past. Yeah, I, I think it's very important, that especially there's going to be a change in leadership. Yeah. At, at scams, I think we certainly yeah. need need to have someone who's going to report back. Yeah. Directors, and I'm willing to take that out. So, yeah. put me in there. Are there any other questions on the list, the appointment list? Any other comments or questions? No. Uh, with then, I'll make a motion with that one change in the South County EMS representative. I would like to move to approve the list as submitted by the town administrator of the appointment list for the year. Second. All in favor, Julie? Yes. Fred, yes. Joyce, no vote. Done. Next, select board liaison assignments. You also have a list of those. Uh, does anyone have any changes they would like to propose? Well, um, normally the um, town administrator liaison is whoever's chair. Since you're coming up with the agenda for the meeting, you're naturally talking to each other all the time. So I think that's the only change I would suggest. I'm happy sticking with schools and police. But um, it, uh, if, unless someone's really unhappy and wants to swap. No. I'm, I'm fine with what I've got. OK. Uh, then I will move that with the change of myself as the town administrator liaison, accept the CNs. Select board liaisons as submitted and continuation from last year. Second. All in favor, Julie? Yes. Me, yes. Next, to discuss failure to elect a cemetery commissioner and two library trustees at the June 13, 2023 local election. Brian, what are our, or Amy, what are our alternatives? Here. Okay. Um, so um, we received an email from we meeting the select board, myself received an email from the town clerk um, that there was a failure to elect for essentially three spots um, one cemetery commissioner um, and two library trustee positions. And the law says that when a vacancy occurs, um, in these positions, it's a joint vote of the select board. And and before you go to that, I, yeah. I see there were write-in votes. For some reason, those are not sufficient to elect someone. What, what, what would be required to? So I can talk to that. Yeah. So for the cemetery commissioners, every person that was written in got one vote. Okay. For the library trustees, all of the write-ins got one vote except for two people and those two people that go for most votes declined so that leaves the rest of the write-ins but they did but the right but the rest of the write-in students did did not have enough votes to be considered how many votes would need would they need to get to be considered more than two okay right and their time there's Okay, that, that that was the question. <laughs> now, what, what is the threshold number that they would have needed? Yeah. Um, so the two, yeah, for the library, the two top vote getters right. declined, and okay. then there was a three way tie. With the yeah, vote. so no, I just saw that there were votes and yeah, went to, yeah, no for threshold. Yeah. So it's essentially um, a joint vote between the, so for the cemetery commissioners, it's a joint vote between the remaining cemetery commissioners and the select board. Um, to fill to fill that vacancy until the next local election, till next, and then that person would, well, or anybody could run for the seat again. And then it's the same with the library trustees. It's a joint vote between the library trustees and the select board, remaining trustees in the select board to fill those two positions. Now, if we if we do the quick math, and for the library trustees, there's I believe there's seven total, so five votes against three. Um, library. Trustees kind of 
when the if there was a uh, in disagreement, but in the past there hasn't been. And with the cemetery commissioners, it would be well, assuming we have the three voted members, it would be three against two of the cemetery commissioners. But yeah. we'd be lucky to have contested how, how uh, many candidates. There were seven library uh, board votes, the trustee votes. Yeah. How many are actually filled at the moment? Five, I believe. Yeah. Um, so what I would do, what I'll do is I'll reach out to the uh, cemetery commissioners and the library trustees to see if they have anybody who's willing to who's willing to step up and do that. Um, so and obviously, the select board knows of anybody who wants to fill those positions as well. That when we have a nominee or nominees to fill the position, we will then schedule meetings with these boards. Uh, you can just vote. You can vote at separate meetings as long as it's the same. As long as you're voting oh. for the same. Oh. Okay. But well, that's just convenient. That's convenient. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's nothing, <laughs> nothing else to do at this point. Right. I just, yeah. yeah. We just need to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next, the discussion vote to appoint Sylvie Jensen to the position of Community Development Administrator, Assistant Town Administrator. Brian. Yep. So um, we've been trying to fill this position for a long time. Um, and I've uh, actually, Amy and I, uh, Amy Valley and I interviewed uh, Sylvie once for the administrative assistant role um, and thought that her skill set would probably lend itself to the community development. Assistant Administrator role better. Um, we asked Sylvie to come back for a second interview um, to talk about the you know the community development position, and um, she's interested in uh, taking that role. So that's my recommendation. Uh, references to that I, that I were in touch with um, were very spoke very highly of, of Sylvie, and I don't have any reservations that she could that she could do the work. So. Did you have other people interviewing for the position? Um, we have over this, I mean, okay. we have since the beginning. Um, and it was actually offered to several people over this period of how many ever months, and uh, it was declined. So, or they declined the positions okay. for various reasons. So, okay. Any questions? No. Do I have a motion? Yes, I move that we appoint Sylvie Jensen, is her name? Sorry. But yes, so large aircraft outside. Uh, <laughs> I Sylvie Jensen to the position as described. Second. All in favor, Julie. Yes. Me, yes. Next, to discuss and vote on whether to appoint Jessica Murphy to the appoint position of administrative assistant. So, uh, Amy Lavalli and I. Interviewed, um, we probably knew five or six candidates after reposting the the the, the job, um, and we would like to appoint Jessica Murphy uh, to the position of administrative assistant. Uh, we feel that she has the skills and the personality to do the job very well. Um, so um, she has experience in that you know in that roles in, in previous positions, um, and. Um, She's looking forward to starting if she's appointed by the board. Any questions, comments? No questions here. I move we appoint Jessica Murphy to the position of administrative assistant. Second. Favor, Julie. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Yes. Uh, next, to discuss and vote on whether to approve one day alcohol. Beverage license okay. from an event for retirement party on July 15th, 2023 at the fire station. Keith, is this your? Yes, um, you know, the I just want to clarify that, you know, the Firefighters Association is working to 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 lay, you know, outlay the the money to put it on and you know, we'll be selling tickets to recoup our expense. So, but it, even though the association is doing that, it's still, we want it to be a fire department event um, in that aspect, you know, so that it's not necessarily 
a, a firefighters association event, it, I still feel it's a fire department event to recognize not only John Hannum, but John LaSalle and Peter Hannum, who have all in the last year have timed out because of the age limit. Okay. Well, and I think that we make it a town event even more than just a fire department event. Um, who do we talk to to get tickets? Um, myself, um, Wayne Hukoski, JP, we have, um, the three of us have tickets at the moment. So um, it's, you know, the, I guess that's the easiest way I can explain it at the moment, other than we're not like, there's been nothing set up as far as like, um, like we don't have a town meeting or things like that where we could, where we could attend to have people come to it. So um, I did tell, you know, the office that if they had anybody, like I told Amy, if you have anybody that stops there, you know, send them my way. So, um, well, that, that's why I'm asking you now. So you're yep. on the reporting and got a reporter okay. here, the article and try to get it out that way. Yep, uh, that's good. For some reason, I lost audio. For the party, retirement party on July 15th. Do I have a second? Oh, oh I, yeah, I lost you for a moment. Okay. I lost All you right. for a moment. I second, yes. I've, I've got to yell louder to get to France, okay. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it, it was just me and Keith for a moment. They're having a private party. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, all in favor, Julie? Yes. Me, yes. Uh, do we have any select board updates from overseas? No. Yeah, none from me. My committee hasn't and been meeting much, but they've had some events that were nicely advertised in the newspaper, like the, uh, the South County Senior Center picnic at Hurley Heath Park and... Um, they're uh, still having uh, meetings for discussion on transportation, but that's uh, the same thing I reported last time, so. And this isn't liaison, but I would like to thank anyone from Waverly, and I know this includes the fire department and snowmobile club and possibly others who participated and helped Deerfield with their parade uh, a week ago. Uh, town administrator updates. Um, just a reminder, the zip code discussion scheduled for June 29th, that's Thursday, Thursday night at uh, the town hall rating mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Um, in terms of, so the meta, the meta grant is the energy technical assistance grant that we have for the DOER to do the, uh, the EV fleet assessment. Um, I had an initial conversation with the engineering group that, um, Hannah had previously been working with. Um, and I, I need to follow up with them because there's some there's some things that didn't make me feel too great about it, but um, I want to make sure it's something that we get that's that that's useful. Um, I don't know if it was just they the it was sort of a lack of preparedness for the call and just that they hadn't refreshed themselves about the scope of work that was written, you know, eight months ago, or if it was, you know, something something a little bit different than that. So I want to mm -hmm. follow up with that and maybe um, maybe we can have our new community development person follow up. Um, and then I, I just had another hear about the complete streets procurement um, that is out to bid. Um, so we'll be getting the bids back. I, I, is it 30 days, Keith, or two weeks? I don't remember when we set the deadline to return the bids for the the sidewalks but i don't so. recall either but we have the um pre-construction meeting coming up next week isn't it i think so okay this, yeah. this, is, this is for the sidewalks yeah portion yeah 
Okay. Um, um, I don't think so. Okay. Huh. Can I ask a question before we adjourn? Yes. It was um, one of the things Brian talked about. Um, do we happen to know if the uh, Thursday meeting, the one on the zip code, is that going to be recorded? Is FCAT going to be there or is it going to be recorded in some way? FCAT is going to be there. Uh, Amy, oh, I've got... just going to be there. Okay, good, good. I just wanted to make sure because I won't be able to, I mean, it's not on Zoom, right? So I won't be able to Zoom in and listen, but I want to be able to hear what people have to say so I can listen to the recording. Thank you. Same here. Yeah, thank you for asking that. Okay, uh, I've got one item that I anticipate. I've got a request from the town clerk to close town office building and town offices on Monday, July 3rd, July 4th being the following day just to let employees have a better chance at a long weekend. Um, any comments, questions? If so, if not, I will move that we grant this request and have Waitley Town offices and buildings closed on Monday, July 3rd. I'll second that. All in favor, Julie? Yes. Me, yes. Done. Anyone have anything else? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn this meeting. Second, Julie? Yes. Uh, me, yes. Done. Thank you.